We welcome you to Jesus is the Answers broadcast located in Greensboro, North Carolina with Bishop Clarence Humphrey. Jesus is the Answer with an awesome man of God preaching God's word for over 30 years. Jesus is the Answer designed for you and mine. Now sit back in your seat, grab your Bibles, and get ready for a Holy Ghost ride from Jesus is the Answers broadcast in Greensboro. Greetings. We truly, we, we truly, we thank God for another day. We give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. We just greet you today with great Jesus joy. For all that's going on, we hope everything is well with you. <laughs> praise God. We just thank God. This is Bishop Clarence Humphrey for Jesus the answer. We just thank God for you. We just come to praise and to glorify and to magnify your God's name. If you lift him up, for he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come now to, first of all, to thank you for another chance, another opportunity to come to all, to be before all these great people, God, and for those that are watching, those that are standing by, and those that are in church and all, God, we just come to say thank you. We come praying and praising God and glorifying that if they're watching, that we know that you have touched them and you have blessed them and they're able to watch. And that in itself is enough to say, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Glory and honor to your name. We bless you, Lord. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify you and we magnify your name. We give you the praise. God, we ask it now that you, God, speak to these lips of clay that we may be able to say that which is pleasing in thy sight, that we may be what you would have us be. We ask, O oh God, that thou would strengthen us where we're weak and build us up where we're torn down. Grant unto us, God, that, that we need to endure in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We take it by faith, and Lord, we consider it done in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I greet you today with great Jesus' joy. I, I, I greet you because... God is a good God. I praise the Lord and I glorify God. Feel good in the body. Feel good in the mind. And I thank God for all of you that, that are still with us and still supporting and still being a part of the ministry. We just thank God for you and we praise God for you. <clears throat> Going into the word today, uh, John 15, uh, the 15th chapter of John. And I, I, I just thank God for his love. I thank God for his mercy. And I Thank God for his grace. And I ask God that he just strengthen us where we can build us up where we're torn down and give you power, give you strength, give you joy, because it's all about Jesus. Hallelujah. We're living in a time now where there's a war going on, where the walls are raging and things are happening. We're living in a time when, when sickness and disease and when there are good times. They are not all bad, but they're good times. But we're living in a time we... We live in a time where man had somewhat forgot about God. They, we, had, we had had our own homes. We got our own homes and we got our own cars and we had nice jobs. We got nice jobs and, and you know, I'm got a paycheck and wife got a paycheck and, and children doing good in school would be preparing for college and we get our degrees and all things were going on in this world. And, and somehow we forgot about God. The world seems to have forgot about God. You know, we have, everything was all right. Everything is, you know, we had, when the jobs are, sometimes when the jobs are up and running, we got plenty of money coming in. We got new cars and new homes and we're doing all right. We're making big plans, plans to do this, going on vacations and making plans to buy another old car, buy another home. Oh, just having a good time in Zion. God blessing us. God is keeping us. God is giving us all that we need, all that we ever need. God gave it to us. We, we, we were doing good. And we forget how we start living for the blessing. You know, we even in church sometimes, we get so caught up in paying your tithes and your offering. And nothing wrong with that. I love paying tithes and offering. Nothing wrong with that. We're supposed to pay tithes and offering. But when you get so caught up in paying tithes just to get 
money. I give God a dollar and he give me back a hundred dollars and all these kind of things and using God for, for our pleasure, using God for just for the time we need him and forgetting about that he is God, that, that, that he's God all by himself. We forget about him sometimes. And I come to tell you today, I come to glorify God and to magnify the Lord because he's worthy. But in today's text, Jesus addresses the fact that you know, sometimes we get out, not meaning to all the time, but sometimes we get away from the Lord and get out under cover, you know, get out under his protection. And we forget about that God is in charge. We forget about we, everything that we have belongs to the Lord. We forget about that we don't own anything, that every, if you have a new car, God bless you with that car. If you have a new home, God bless you with that home. You have a good job, God bless you with that job. Whatever is going on in your life. But here in today's text in uh, John 15, it says Jesus is talking here and, and he says that he lets us know that he says, I am the true vine and my father is the husband man. Jesus said, I am the true vine. Otherwise, we somehow has got disconnected. There are two vines. There's, there's a vine of the Holy Ghost. There's a vine of, of the heavenly host. There's a vine of Jesus Christ. The vine, all that is one vine connected together. But there's another vine and, and Lucifer, the devil controls that vine. That's the vine of the world. That's the situation and things of the world. Sometimes we can get so, we can get disconnected from God and get connected to the world vine. Go back into the old system. The Bible, Jesus says here, I am the true vine. Otherwise, when you want to get back to where you was, want to get back your health and strength, want to get back your joy, want to get back your peace, Jesus says, I am the true vine. My father is the husband man. Otherwise, I am the vine. My father is the keeper. My father is the blesser. The father is the keeper of the vine. I am the vine. Jesus said he was the vine. We are the branches. He said every branch in me that bears not fruit is taken away. And every branch in me that bears fruit, he prunes it that it may bring forth more fruit. Otherwise, if we're not in Christ, if we're not in Jesus, see, it doesn't matter what goes on, because when you realize that when you're connected to Jesus, uh, then your spirit man is alive. Your spirit man is, is, is what Jesus died for. All these other things will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. All things will pass away. They're only temporarily. But the only one that we can have is Jesus. Jesus is not just for now. He's for eternity. He will always be. Praise God. And I thank God. He said every branch in me. Then he says that every branch that beareth fruit, <clears throat> he prunes it that it may bring forth more fruit. Then he says, now ye are clean through the word. Hallelujah. We've gotten away from the word of God. People have can't take the word out of school, saying the word ain't got no business in school, haven't got no business in public places. The word ain't got no, God is, I don't have a say in nothing anymore. Everything, the word, the word, the word is taken out. God is taken out of this. God is taken out of that. But you got to realize <clears throat> that when God is taken out, Satan is added in. So you, you're going to have one or the other. If you don't have Jesus, you got the devil. If you don't have, if you're not living for God, then you're living for the devil. If you're not, if you're not in love with God, then you in, you're in love with Satan. You love the world. You love the things of the world. Either you love God, because the Bible says here, Jesus said, I am the true vine. See, there's a lot of vines out there. See, that's the reason he said that. I have a lot of vines out there. But the vine, well, which vine are you connected to? Being connected. If I could use a thought today, I would say, are you connected? Have you been connected? Are you connected to the right vine? Then he said, ye are cleansed through the words which I have spoken unto you. Then he says, well, how, Lord, how do I get connected again? How do I get back where I was? How, how, I know I've sinned. I know I've come short. I know that I don't really understand everything. But Lord, what do I do? He said, in the fourth verse, he says, John, I mean, John 15 says, he said, abide in me. And I in you, 
as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. Oh God, no more can ye except ye abide in me. Jesus is using a vine for a parable, a parable to show you that if you cut off a branch from a vine, what happens to the branch? It dies. If you cut off, if you, un if you unplug uh, your TV from the wall, what happens to the picture? It goes out. If you take off, if you take the battery out of your computer, what happens to the computer? It won't start up. It has to have a source. It has to have a power source. It has to have something that keeps it, that has power, that supplies power. And Jesus said, if you abide in me and I abide in you, he said a branch cannot bear fruit of itself. If you cut it off, it dies. It can't provide for itself. It can't do anything but wither. The food, so the food source is cut off, the money is cut off, the power is cut off, the authority, everything is cut off when you cut it from the vine. So I want to know today, are you connected to the right vine? He said, I am the vine and ye are the branches. Then he says, the sixth verse says, if a man abide not in me. Now he told you, if you abide in me and I in you, I'll bless you. I'll give you strength. I'll give you joy. I'll give you power. I'll give you dunamis. I'll give you whatever you need. I'll give it to you. God says, I'll give it to you if you abide in me. He said, whatever you ask of me, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll be there for you. If you love me with your whole heart, mind, body, and soul, if you serve me, if you praise me, if you glorify me, God said, I'll give you all these things. But then he says, if a man abideth not in me, he is cut up, he's cut, he is cast forth as a branch, and he is withered. And see, men gather them, the dead branches, you know how you do, you clean your yard, the dead leaves, what do you do with them? You put them back on the tree? No, you throw them away. Some people burn them, they put them in bags, and the garbage man or whatever comes and gets them. Why? Because they ain't got no more use. You don't need the dead leaves anymore. Uh, some people grind them up and use them for fertilizer, but you don't use that many of them. You, uh, you get rid of all that that's dead. You don't want your yard all clawed up, grass now, the spring's coming, and, and the grass is growing beautiful, and you got all those dead leaves still laying all over your yard. No, you clean that stuff off. You clean the dead off. You get rid of the old man. You get rid of the old stuff and now your grass is growing up your yard is beautiful you're paying you're cleaning you're mowing you're doing mulching you you're putting down fertilizer you're doing all kinds of things that the yard will be beautiful planting flowers and doing things but sometimes we forget about God we have forgot about who God is so the Bible says Jesus says, he says I am the vine ye are the branches he that abideth in me he said that God will prune that that's making that, that the new vine, the good vine. He prunes it, that it brings forth much fruit. He said, if you abide not in me, he said, then he, you'll cut off the dead weight. That's what pruning is. Pruning is cutting off all that dead stuff that died out on the vine, on the that, that's the connected to the vine cutting all that dead stuff off because it's done all it's going to do and all it can do is have catch get disease and all kinds of stuff you leave it on there and it affects the whole vine it kills the whole vine the dead and the rot comes in through the dead that's already on it so you have to cut the dead off and take it that's pruning it he prunes off all that dead stuff that the new growth can come in see if you cut off the old and the new come in praise god the new growth comes in then he said if a man abide if not if a man abide if not in me then he said if ye abide in me seventh verse says if ye abide in me jesus talking now and my word abide in you Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done. Here it is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciple. He said, if ye abide in me and my word abide in you. See, you are cleansed through the word. He says you are cleansed through the word. 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God, and all things were made by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. I don't know how you feel today, but I've come to tell you, i come to let you know that if you're going through, and your things are happening in your life, and things are going on that you don't know what's going on, i come to tell you that you need to get reconnected. Reconnected to Jesus. Turn your life back over to the Lord. Let God be God. Oh God, I I am the true vine and my father is the husband man. Jesus said, I am the vine. I am the source. I am the plug that you're plugged into. I am the vine that you're connected to. And if you're connected to me, I'm connected to the father and the father gives me power. And when the father supplies the power, I'll give you power. Jesus said, I'll give you power. You can have joy. You can have peace. You can have all that you need if you're connected to the blind. I want to know, are you connected to the vine? That's the only thing now because we're living in a time now. We're living in, in a time now, in a situation, in a time now where things are going on. We're living in a time now where situations are happening and we don't know what's going on, what's happening anymore. We don't know what one day from the next. Uh, this virus and different things are going on. See, what happens is Man, sometimes when God blesses and we are blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed. And God blesses us. We get so caught up in the blessings that we begin. God is so good. God is so wonderful. God is so awesome in our lives. And he blesses us. He gives us air every morning. He wakes us up. He gives us clothes. He gives us food. He takes care of us. And we get so caught up in the routine every week, every week after we done labored on, our, on this good job that God gave us. The man gives us a check and we, get, we take the money and, and save it. Some of us don't even need it. We, some of us are doing, we were doing so good. But God says that if you abide in Jesus said, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, some of us have forgot to abide in God. God loves you. You are somebody. God wants you to prosper. God loves you. But when you, t when you don't abide in him, then the enemy has a way to get to your source your situation. No, no, no. This virus is not hasn't just started. No, the, this virus has always been. But it, the reason it ain't had affected anybody because God had taken care of that. God had covered that. You know, nothing can happen unless God allows. Yeah, yeah, it, it is bad virus. But but we forget about God so much that God sometimes God has to get our attention. And when we come back to the Lord, when you give God the glory, give God the praise, the virus still can't hurt you. It's just like it ain't is. It's just like it's not even there. If you're in God, if you're in Christ, if you, are, if you abide in him and I abide in you, you can ask what you will. If you are a true, I'm not talking about just saying, well, it's not there. I, he, he said it ain't there, so I'm going on. No, no, no. I'm talking about if you abide in Christ, if you are a child of God, if you're born again, washed in the blood of the Lamb. How do I know that I'm in Christ? Because he's my joy. He's the one I think about. He's the one I... I praise. He's the one I glorify. He's the one I magnify. He's the one I lift up. I praise God because God is my all in all. Jesus said, where do I get peace? Jesus said, my peace I give unto you. My peace I leave with you. Otherwise, we have the peace of God in our hearts. We have the peace of God in our minds. Peace of God in our joy. God gives us peace. I have peace because of Jesus. I'm healed because God says I'm healed. Isaiah, Isaiah 53 and 5 said, He was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquity. The chastising of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we're healed. The Bible says we're healed. I'm healed. Why? Because God says I'm healed. I am. Why? Because God says I am. I can do all things. How? Through Christ that strengthens me. You got to understand. See, it's all about Jesus. Jesus said, I am the true vine. And you can find in Jesus, in the true vine, everything you need. Anything you want is in Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever you want. Whatever. See, we think because we got a good job and we had this, all this stuff going on that, see, it used to be stuff like this, the virus and all this stuff. We used to hear about that in some foreign country somewhere. 
earthquakes and tornadoes and things going on in foreign countries. We used to hear about all that stuff, but it, it just seems that it didn't, didn't bother America, didn't bother us. It seemed like it was over there somewhere. But now this virus, because God is all over the world, God has, it's affecting the whole world. Everybody it knows that this thing is going on. Everybody is being affected one way or the other. And I come to tell you today, if you turn your life over to Jesus, if you give God your life, give God your love, I come to ask you today in the name of Jesus, if you're not saved, it's a good, mighty good time to get saved. Give your life to the Lord. Uh, come to Jesus. Give God your heart. Give God your mind. Know that if you want, if you want to be connected today to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and you know to know that have somebody that love you and can protect you, Give your life to Jesus. Come on, pray with, pray with me. Pray with me now. If you want to get saved today, just, just say these simple words from the heart, from the mind, from the heart, and let God bless you. Lord, I know that I am a sinner. I have rejected and I have lived in the world and I've done things that I'm not proud of. But Lord Jesus, if you will come into my life, <clears throat> give me your life. God, I denounce Satan. I denounce demonic forces. I denounce the world and take on you. Jesus, come into my life. Save me. Make me whole. And I give my life to you. I'll serve you. I'll read your word. I'll go and find me a church home. I'll find those that love you. I will give up that that's hindering me, that all that stuff that has held me back in the back. I, I remember it no more. I put it behind me. Paul said, forgetting those things that are behind me, but pressing toward the mark of a higher calling. So I put it all that stuff behind me and I come to you, Lord Jesus, to give you praise. I come. I will give you praise, honor and glory. God, I'm sorry. And when God comes into your heart, you know it. <laughs> you know that God, the goodness of Jesus. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about it, but God is able. <laughs> He's able to give you back your joy. <laughs> He's able to give you back your peace. <laughs> Turn <laughs> from your wicked ways. <laughs> if my people <laughs> that are called by my name <laughs> will humble themselves and pray, <laughs> then he said, then I'll heal their land. <laughs> I'll give them back joy. <laughs> I'll give you back peace. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm coming now to tell you uh, that the Jesus said, I am the true vine. Uh, he says, I am the way. Uh, I am the way. Uh, yeah, there is no other way. Uh, I am the name that you call when you're hungry, when you're naked, when you need whatever you need, call on Jesus. Uh, he said, I'll make ways out of no ways. Uh, I don't know how you feel about these things, but it's all about Jesus. Uh, we forget about God. We took God out of everything. He's no longer allowed in our school services. He's no longer allowed in our government services. He's no longer allowed here or there with somebody. The devil is trying to take God out of everything. And we that are Christians are setting back. We that are members of the body of Christ are setting back and letting them do what they want to do. I come to tell you today everybody else has come out of the closet. Church, we need to come out of the closet. Everybody else has come out of the situation. They're coming out into the world and being what they are we the church ought to be what we are we are born again children of God we we have the power of almighty God we have the power of Jesus working in our minds and working in our hearts we ought to come out of the closet too and let the world know that I'm not taken down anymore my God is God my God is Lord he's Lord of Lords and he's King of Kings he's Alpha and Omega he's the beginning and the end we need to let the world know I'm not setting back anymore. I'm not allowing anybody or anything to take my joy. This joy that I have, world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. I thank God the day I praise the Lord and I glorify the Lord and I magnify him. In Jesus' name, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come now again to say thank you. We come to praise you, God. We thank you for the Holy Spirit speaking through us, God, that helps somebody, God, to realize that it's time to get saved, time to give their life to you, because we never know when we take our last breath. 
In the name of Jesus, we love you, Lord, and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, then you shall ask what you will and it shall be given. If you abide in me and my words abide then you shall ask what you will, and it shall be given to you. shall be given to you. Thank you so much for watching Jesus is the Answers broadcast for Bishop Clarence Humphrey. For prayer, call them at 336-375-3999. Again, thank you so much again for watching Jesus is the Answers broadcast. And may God bless you.